can't believe I'm here in Japan. I've always dreamed of coming here as a kid and I'm actually here. This is so surreal. Oh look, more Japanese signs. It's kind of hit me, but hasn't really hit me yet. With the voice. Yeah, with the voice right here. Wow. This is my new friend. What's your name? Hey, Marie. Marie. <laughs> Thank you so much. No <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> No YouTube. I'm shy. After spending a couple hours here in the Shinjuku area, you can notice there's a lot of working professionals. Everybody's on their way. Super busy, going from place to place. At the same time, they have some level of manner of respect and politeness. You know, when it comes to like bumping each other and whatnot. Unlike back in the States where everybody just hates on each other. Alright, actually taking some time, getting settled in. Finally here, first night here in uh, Tokyo, here in uh, Shinjuku. This is fucking amazing. There's so many lights, streets are super vibrant. Oh my god. Alright guys, first ramen in Japan. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> so good. 10 out of 10. Bro, that has to be the most delicious. Oh my god, I don't know how you top that. Like what do I do with my life afterwards? This is Come it. Back. What's up? Come back here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find a dessert spot, but I feel like that beer and that ramen has made me sleepy. Hashtag no gluten, hashtag gluten free. I'll probably eat it again tomorrow. Who am I kidding? All it took was one little cracker. Mmm, <laughs> sugoi. <laughs> so sugoi. All right, guys, this is our sleeping arrangements for our Airbnb. Nothing but futons, futons, and futons. I notice how small with Japanese style homes, you can't exactly fit in a giant bed frame up the stairs. So they got to make do with what they have. Mostly sleep in futons. Lack of privacy. Can't exactly let a giant fart out and <laughs> guys next to you are just like, oh my god, this is so bad, so bad. Day zero, actually, no, day one here in Japan. Woo! Senso G Temple. Definitely a t huge tourist attraction. There's a lot of confectionery, a lot of shops. All right, let's do this taste test. As soon as I get this bag to open, which will probably be the, the next 40, 50 minutes. Oh, hey, it's, wow, this is an ugly bag opening, but. Ah! Oh, this is embarrassing, not in front of the camera. Mary, try some. I've had a different kind, but we'll see. This one looks pretty appetizing. Oh, crap. Force over here breaking social norms. Oh, man. Yeah. Apparently, you're not supposed to eat in front of the shops. I'm fucking it up. Sorry, Japan. Oh, my God. Dude, try some of this. It's pretty good, but now my breast's gonna stink. You're in a relationship, you don't need to impress anyone. <laughs> on that slit on the table. That slit on the table. Yeah. So what we're doing right now, we're doing an umikuji, which means written fortune. We're gonna draw either good fortune or bad fortune. For 100 yen, hopefully, we'll draw some good fortune. If not, I'm screwed. But let's do this. All right, so oh, wow. stick the 100 yen in. We'll draw a fortune from shaking this thing. Hopefully, a... well, that was quick. Oh, wow. <laughs> you must have good fortune. Hopefully, this is good fortune. <laughs> so I drew no 94. So 94 is over here. We'll go to 94. If I can money, money. <laughs> five, six. Oh, is it this side? Okay, so. Okay, so 94 is over here. Let's see what you got. So is this good or bad? How do you turn tell? Around, turn around. Oh. oh my god! 
Wait, the good fortune, be careful in what they say when they are drinking. You had better get in touch with and associate with your superiors, otherwise something bad will happen to you, okay? If you're obedient to your master, your wish will come true gradually, which is probably my future wife, I guess. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yes, thank you! <laughs> what do I do? Do you I keep, keep it? Do I keep it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh man, Japan's awesome. <laughs> We just got done with Sensoji Temple. I gotta say it was a wonderful experience, unforgettable. I'm gonna remember it, I'm gonna tell my children about it. Great, nine out of 10 experience. Just cause nothing is ever fully 10 out of 10. Right now we are here in Somataro, which is known for their onomiyaki. I'll put the description what onomiyaki is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they cook it for you and I am freaking hungry. Onomiyaki. Onomiyaki. Time to drink. Get some of the sake. Cheers to all these guys. Glad you need a chaser for this smooth sake. Alright, so we are in Akihabara, which is like known for like the nerdy stuff, anime, games, manga, everything. Pretty much my entire childhood. This is like my nerd fantasy come true. <laughs> this is the reason why I came here to Akihabara. Toys and figurines! <laughs> We're at the se secret spot, well, not so secret anymore. It's called the Daily Chico. We're known for their tallest ice cream in the world. It's got a very bubblegum-like taste. One more on the top layer, though. Still got chocolate, caramel, some green tea in the bottom. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really good. Definitely don't work on just the top, you gotta work on all layers. We are here at a Japanese restaurant called Zao. What's so special about this restaurant is that you fish for your food. Last time I've done any type of fishing was through Final Fantasy, which isn't even real fishing. Let's see how this goes. Sea bream is definitely the hot, ah, sea bream is definitely the hot item here. Definitely gonna try and get that. Oh yes. Oh. oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, perfect, perfect. <laughs> yes. Teamwork makes the dream work. And the aftermath. <laughs> and this is what happened to our. Bro, did you have to talk as soon as I was about to do my thing? Or what? Sorry, sorry. Not at all. <laughs> Day three here in Japan. So I noticed one thing walking around Japan, everybody's got these cool, sick face masks for sanitary purposes. 
for air pollution to preserve their health. So I figured, you know what, why not? I'm gonna pick one up, except that I'm doing it for, more for fashion, more for fashion aesthetic reasons, not to preserve my health or anything. So yeah, call me pretentious. This place can get pretty confusing, it's a little trippy, but it's, it's nice. It's quite soothing and refreshing. We're here in Tokyo Tower, here in the main deck, which is 150 meters high from the ground. You got two options, you can either do the main deck or the, do the top deck, which is way higher. The top deck is roughly 450 meters, and that's going to cost you around 2,950 2, yen, which is like roughly around $25 US. But if you want to go for the cheaper option, go for the main deck, which is only 900 yen, around $8 US. Main deck's worth it. Tokyo Tower has been around since 1958. Beautiful, overlooks all over Tokyo. It's a tourist attraction, but it's a tourist attraction for a reason. Great views, can't complain. It wouldn't be a main tourist attraction without a gift shop. So here right behind me is the Tokyo Tower gift shop where you can pick up you know, keychains, snow globes, whatever your heart desires uh, for family, friends, everything back at home. Let's see what they have over here. So you can go with a standard keychain, or if you're feeling kind of Sanrio Hello Kitty-ish, you got some Hello Kitty themed keychains, whatever your heart desires. I think I'd go with this one. It's pretty cute. You smell like. If you guys want some plush toys for your young kids, there you have it up here. A lot of cute bears and different colors and selections. You got a couple of the figurines. You got some of the rhinestones over here. Rhinestone here. Rhinestone figurines for the Tokyo Tower, or you have the massive sample one over here. Keychain accessories, they're everywhere. Now for all you big season drinkers out here, we got some wine glasses over here, a couple shot glasses. That way when you're taking a shot of that nice, beautiful Suntory whiskey off of your Tokyo Tower shots. Alcohol, the best. And if you guys want to go super minimal with your gift selections, we got plenty of magnet souvenirs over here. And these cute little Tokyo Towers over here. Got some of these uh, hats over here, all magnetic. Perfect for your Japanese fridge collection. Memories forever. Leaving Tokyo, heading to Osaka. We're gonna be riding a Shinkansen, which is a bullet train. We're gonna be leaving, it's gonna be a three hour ride from Tokyo to Osaka. I wonder how fast it's gonna go. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to ride Japanese Shinkansen bullet trains since I was like 14, 15 years old. It's finally happening. All right, so we made a giant oopsie. So there was a slight of mishap and miscommunication. Uh, if you guys are trying to take the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Osaka, the bullet train, and you're leaving from a, a regional or like a local station, Keep in mind, you're gonna have to do at least two transfers to get to your main departure. And not all station attendants will inform you, so just be wary, be mindful about that. This is where we're at right now. We have to transfer from over here, take the line all the way down here, which is where the main Shinkansen is. And from there, you're gonna leave from there to Osaka. So we're about half an hour in the entire Shinkansen ride, and I gotta say, if you guys have never ridden a Shinkansen a bullet train here in Japan, you have to do it. It goes really fast. I think it goes roughly approximately 320 kilometers, uh, which translates to 200 miles per hour. 
definitely feel the speed flowing through, but at the same time, it's a very scenic and very smooth ride. It's fast, but smooth. After a three hour ride, we made it over to Osaka. It was probably the smoothest train ride I've ever been on. Slept like a baby. Dropped off our stuff here in Osaka. There's definitely an Osaka vibe over here. Oh, wow. Perverted shops. So many sex shops everywhere. <laughs> so there is a nice lady that gave us the rest of her jiggle cake, which is what we have in front of us. I don't know what the ingredients are in this jiggle cake. There, I see raisins, some pound cake. It just looks really delicious. So we are gonna go have a taste of that nice lady's leftover jiggle pound cake. Let's have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> that, that pound cake? <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> Let's, on a more serious note, let's let's try this jiggle pound cake. Oh, it's good. <laughs> no pun intended. Let's go. Let's go have a taste. Mmm. Mm. Oh man. You can taste the fluffiness. You can taste the the egg. Mmm. Everything is like in the right amount. Wow, that's so good. The jiggle cake is worth. Oh, man. I forgot to mention, this place that sells the Jiggle Pancake, it's called Riku Rose. I'll provide the name and the Google map location in the links down in the description below. But this is some good uh, Jiggle Pancake. Hello, hello. Now this is what you call a Lubu Lubu Hotel and a Lubu Lubu Massage. Hey man, I'm not judging. If you're into that kind of thing, do your thing. actually just got into Osaka Castle, paid 600 yen, which is equivalent to $5.35 US. You got two options, you can either take the elevator from the first floor, all the sixth floor, or you can do the traditional walking up the stairs. We opted out for the second one. My knees are gonna be killing me, but I'm ready to see some cool stuff and some cool history. I would expect this to be more of a rustic, ancient feel, but it seems like everything's very modernized and up to date. Oh, sorry, sorry. Security guards here in Osaka Castle don't play around. Watch out. When you guys are on the seventh floor here in Osaka Castle, they actually have like an animated storytelling thing where it's all computer generated animation telling stories. Uh, just don't film on the fourth and the fifth floor because they got some angry security guards that I got yelled at. All right, so right now we are here on the seventh floor of Osaka Castle, the highest floor. Uh, great floor if you want to come here to get a nice 360 views all over the city of Osaka. But one of the best things about being on this floor is that they actually have these cool directories right here on each side of this floor. So it kind of gives you a, a nice landmark of what specific buildings are all over Osaka. Like for example, you've got a couple shrines, you've got a couple museums uh, within 200 meters of us. Uh, if you go all the way over th there, that is the NHK Broadcasting Building, which is Japan's biggest uh, television <coughs> network, kind of like CNN or Fox News. Uh, if you go further all the way down over there, it's a bit cloudy, but Mount Congo is situated over there. Weather's kind of crappy, but what can you do? But honestly, if you guys are coming out here for, to check out good rooftop views, seventh floor, highest floor here in Osaka Castle is the place to be. Alright, so we're over here in uh, Osaka in a specific street called Dotonbori. A lot of hustle and bustle, but there's actually a good amount of street food over here. We just had some chicken skewers, some octopus, but we're gonna grab some of that rice dumplings over here. You guys do come here three sticks for 500 yen, about like maybe 410, 420 US. <sighs> so good. You got three options. You got matcha, kinako, which is like sour soy flour, and then you got mitirashi, which is like soy sauce with sugar. I don't know how I feel about the soy sauce. Whatever, we'll try something new. Oh, 
ありがとうございます Try this rice dumpling, aka Dongo taste test. We're gonna go with the Kinako soy flour. Just gonna give this a try.、Mm, wow. Sweet, good powder that could bounce out the taste. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're gonna try the Mitarashi, which is like the soy sauce with the sugar right here. Mitarashi, soy sauce with sugar. It's definitely the traditional way of. I think soy sauce is definitely the traditional way of it. I wouldn't expect to like it this much, but this is actually really good. I think by far the soy sauce, the mitarashi, the soy sauce one is by far my favorite right now. I'm gonna try the matcha. Oh, wow. You can't go wrong with anything matcha. Matcha drinks, matcha boba, matcha latte, matcha rice dumplings. I'm gonna eat my words. Matcha was by far my favorite. Definitely matcha, then mitarashi, the soy sauce one, and then the kinako is like my least favorite. They're all good though, to be honest. And keep eating. Took the bull train again. Took us only about 15 minutes to get from Osaka to Kyoto. I'm just glad that we're here in Kyoto. It's been less than an hour and. Been digging the vibes. I feel like it's definitely more of the authentic Japanese feel that we wanted. Personally, I wasn't a fan of Osaka, but Kyoto so far, I'm like, I'm digging this. Like, this is what traditional, I mean, if you're coming to Japan expecting traditional Japanese, you know, the authentic Japanese feel, then Kyoto is the spot to be. It's quiet, it's traditional, it's nice, it's so beautiful. Wow, so traditional. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick room tour. Most Airbnbs, they're whatever, but like Kyoto style, Kyoto Airbnbs, unique. I'll give you guys a quick room tour. Got some kitchen, microwave over here. Everything's very compact. Get the nice shower over here. I'm gonna walk towards this way. Wow, beautiful backyard. So cool. No, it's not really a backyard. I'm just joking, guys. And we got, oh, let me in. We got a nice little bathroom. Great place to take a dump. Very scenic vibes over here. Look outside.、We、got washrooms over here. Let's go upstairs, guys. Let's check out upstairs. We got the entrance over here. Upstairs, upstairs. Oh my gosh, guys. This looks really nice. Whoa, what the heck? The upstairs sleeping area. Freaking nice, guys. Whoa. Definitely love these Japanese style futons. Well, as you can see, it's very compact. But hey, this might be good for minimalism. Kyoto's freaking life! Arashiyama Bamboo Grove here in Kyoto, Japan.、So、we all travel to different countries for different reasons.、We、travel here for the quiet, scenic, traditional Japanese beauty standing in front of me and around me and behind me on the side of me. It's lit. I love it. It's quiet. It's tranquil. You can hear the wind and the breeze rushing through the bamboo groves. It's calm. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Come here.
So Japan has a pretty strict, or somewhat, it's, it's, they've got moderate drone laws. And this would have been the perfect area. You see all this open space. We're in the middle, we're in the middle of a forest. Perfect, nobody's here. Perfect opportunity to fly the drone. Only problem is I'm missing the cord that connects the remote to my iPhone. <laughs> he don't care about you guys. You see this? He forget the cord. Everything. He told, he told me earlier. He don't care about the community either. So. Alright, totally forgot to give some backstory to this, but we are going to Fushimi Inari, the shrine. But I feel like it wouldn't be right going there without decking out in some nice kimono outfits. I think for guys it's called wafuku. I could be wrong. Let's just go with kimono for guys. It's interchangeable, gender neutral. Pretty crazy walking through here that the Shinto shrine's been around since the early 8th century. Just walking through thousands and thousands of these gates. It's a bit daunting, pretty intimidating. to this ancient traditional part of Kyoto to visit a ancient traditional part of Starbucks. Your camera is very cool. Oh, thank you, thank you. Are you a professional or something? Uh, just YouTube, that's it. Oh, please watch uh, your channel. Oh, my channel? Okay. Yeah. You're taking one. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> What's up guys? So normally I would have a lot of these temple names memorized, except that these names are really hard to pronounce. So I'm gonna read it off my good friend Google. So right now we're in Hoshin, Hoshin Temple. We're right next to this Zenko Jido Temple. And then another one is called Kiyomizu Dera Temple. Sorry about the temple, but sorry about the terrible pronunciation. We're in a specific part of Kyoto where it's very traditional. Traditional style, maybe eight around 18, 19th century homes. It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome out here. So it's really beautiful over here. A lot of greenery, a lot of cherry blossoms. People are out, families are out. Good times over here. I'll provide the links in the description down below. It's definitely, if you do come out here to Kyoto, don't miss the temples and don't miss the traditional shops around here. <laughs> Pro tip, hidden gem when you guys travel to Japan. If you guys ever come across a Family Mart, which is like a 7-Eleven here in Japan, get the Family Mart tapioca milk tea. It is amazing, it is delicious. I personally think it's way better than any of the tapioca spots here in Japan. No offense, just keeping it real. But they've got coconut milk tea, they've got the Cafe a la coffee milk tea. But this is original. Can't go wrong with the tapioca milk tea family mark. Get it, you won't regret it. It's gonna change your life. It definitely changed my life. I'm a better man because of it. Get it. Mary, we're departing in less than two hours after spending two weeks of, with each other. How do you feel? Good, ready to eat some burgers. <laughs> ready for American? American? Ready for America? Yes. She's sick of Japan. <laughs> Maybe next time. Next time. <laughs> I don't wanna talk to your vlog. Two weeks. Do you remember Missy, man? I miss you. No, you're not. Don't like me. Be safe. Be safe. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, man. Two weeks. 
traveling with someone for two weeks, a lot of bonds are developed. You go through, you know, you let people in, you know, tell them what's going on in your life and the struggles that you're dealing with. So it was a great two weeks with uh, my good friends, Mary, Brandon, and then Money left earlier. <sighs> after traveling an amazing two weeks here in a country that I've always dreamed of traveling ever since I was nine, ten, from countless anime influences. Great time here in Japan. I can't wait to be back. I'm definitely gonna miss all the good times of meeting, the, meeting new people, exploring different cultures, bonding with friends. That's what travel's all about, and I think Japan for sure. I'll definitely return one day. I do however want to check out different parts of Japan, like maybe check out Hokkaido, Sapporo, Nara, uh, Hiroshima. So I think next time if I do come back to Japan, I'm probably gonna skip Tokyo and explore a different part of it. Crossing the infamous Shibuya crossing. Everybody's got their phones out. Everybody's going all sorts of different directions. Yes! Phone <laughs> crossings everywhere. We're crossing it all. Let's cross this. <laughs> oh my god, we're all we're all going different directions. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, everybody's going this way, everybody's going that way, we're going this way. Everywhere! It's the madness of the Shibuya crossing! Oh my god! It just turned green lights! Let's get out of here!